Hello and welcome to Avoiding Big Brother. In today's video I'm going to be discussing the activity known as wall driving. Wall driving is becoming a threat to your internet privacy. I recently released a video about Wi-Fi being a weak link to our privacy when we connect to the internet and wall driving is an activity that exploits that vulnerability. So what is wall driving all about? It is the activity of driving around in a vehicle searching for unsecure Wi-Fi wireless networks. You can do all of this with a portable computer like a laptop or even a smartphone, or a microcomputer like a Raspberry Pi can be used for this activity. Whatever the device, it will be connected to the internet, usually through a dongle for portable internet access. Wall driving may involve more than one individual, so one person will be driving the vehicle, while another person studies the device looking for network information. In the video I published about Wi-Fi being a risk to privacy, I included the website Wiggle. Someone could visit Wiggle on their device and map out local Wi-Fi networks as they drive around a neighbourhood. Hackers can use many other Wi-Fi analyzers and war driving tools to pick up exposed Wi-Fi's whilst driving around. The results from Wi-Fi analyzers can be uploaded to Wiggle to map out a network. For the more advanced war driver, they'll use an antenna to pick up a bigger range with increased sensitivity. And then we use software to locate the Wi-Fi and this software interacts with GPS, Global Positioning Systems. War driving has become a hobby for some, but for others there will be a malicious motive. Hackers scout around neighbourhoods looking for unsecured Wi-Fi networks. They are looking for networks that are publicly available with either poor router configuration or weak passwords. And if they were to get unauthorised access to your network then they might start doing some reconnaissance to try and find more personal information like credit card data and bank account information. Attackers are known to use a range of tools including packet sniffers, traffic analyzers, signal strength testers and password cracking software, all running on the mobile device. This data may be shared on services like Wiggle to map out the vulnerable network. War driving itself is not the dangerous aspect of an attack. It is what the hacker chooses to do when they gain unauthorized access. They can start looking through all the devices connected to the network and search for your private data. War driving has also been used for identity theft attacks that have resulted in financial loss to the victim. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, if you watch my video on the risk to privacy when using Wi-Fi, then you will know that I recommend using Ethernet connection rather than going wireless with Wi-Fi. I'll include a video in the description below which will explain the reasons why. But if you absolutely must use Wi-Fi for the internet then here are a few tips. You should make a habit of switching off your Wi-Fi network when there is nobody at home or at the office to prevent access for hackers. Change the passwords on your router. The passwords will be the factory default ones when you first receive the device. It is a standard username and password that makes things easier for the user to set up the router when they first receive it and need to configure it. Change it as soon as you can. Use encryption. You can have a Wi-Fi router set up so that it only allows access once the correct password has been entered. This is known as Wi-Fi protected access. For some of you, you might want to go a step further and purchase a firewall for the network. And this will monitor the traffic trying to access the network and block anything that is suspicious coming from an unapproved source. Firewalls will add an extra layer of security, at least. Now some people ask, can you hide the SSID for the router? SSID stands for Service Set Identifier and is the name of your network. It is usually a mix of letters and numbers and may include the name of the internet service provider. For example, my broadband is with Vodafone, so the default SSID would be Vodafone Connect followed by numbers. You can change this default SSID, which may not be a bad thing as well, as you can rename your network. You'll be able to see a list of SSIDs when you want to connect to Wi-Fi on your device. This will include the SSID for your network and the SSIDs of nearby networks available, such as your neighbours. The general consensus is that hiding your SSID is not going to make any difference to the security of your network. Hackers have network sniffing tools that will find out your SSID number even if you have disabled the broadcasting of it. 
Also, hiding the SSID can make it more difficult for networking and can prevent further security added and configured to the network. Your router will require the broadcast of the SSID so that it can deliver traffic between devices. Some people ask whether you can delist your network from sites like Wiggle. And the answer is yes, you can put in a request to remove your network from the service. But there may be many other services like Wiggle mapping out your network whilst you are using Wi-Fi for internet access. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.